He was born on Holy Saturday uh, and baptized on the very day that he was born. And Holy Saturday is a day of longing and expectation for the church as we prepare to celebrate uh, Easter. And so I think it marks his life. He lived his life in the same longing and expectation that he was born into, being born on Holy Saturday. So today, though it's a somber day, I wouldn't describe it as a sad day. It's hard to, to feel a tremendous sadness when this is what he longed for all of his life, this meeting with the Lord. And so today we uh, celebrate, in a way, with Pope Benedict uh, as he leaves this life and begins the rest of his life with the Lord. Um, we recall to mind the passage from 1 Corinthians, death, where is your victory? And so that, that sentiment guides us today, that death doesn't have the final word, and that was something that the Pope spent his whole life preaching. And so he is the, one of those voices, like John Paul was, who is able to accurately, even today, to unpack and to help the church unpack what the Holy Spirit was doing during the Second Vatican Council and what it still has to teach us. He has an extensive bibliography, of course, as a theologian and writer. And so, in a way, his passing leaves behind a mine, a theological mine, filled with uh, wonderful things for us to unpack and learn as, as we go. We're going to celebrate Mass here Tuesday evening at 6.30 p.m. Uh, there will be, it's open to anyone, all, all people are, are welcome to come. Yeah, the, the Mass that we'll celebrate is a Requiem Mass. It's the kind of Mass that is celebrated at the death of someone. It is interesting uh, that with Pope Benedict, because he's the first and only Pope in 500 years who retired, uh, he was the first Pope to be present at his successor's election, and now Pope Francis will be the first sitting pope to celebrate the uh, death of his predecessor, to celebrate the funeral mass at the death of his predecessor.